Hey guys, this is Nick and welcome to my Linux experiment. In this part, we'll talk about how to extend and customize your experience with Elementary OS. To do this, we'll use Elementary Tweaks, a little program that allows you to add more options to the system settings. First, how to install Elementary Tweaks. That's the only complex part. You'll need to use the command line to do so. If you've never used the command line, don't panic. Just open your Applications menu and look for Terminal. Open that. In here, you'll need to type a few commands, just as they display on the screen. I'll copy them in the description below for easy copy and paste. First one is sudo apt install software-properties-common. This command will tell your package manager to install the software properties common package, which lets you add PPAs to your system. PPAs are very simple package archives that can add new programs and libraries to your system. They basically supercharge the default repositories. Then press enter. Type in your password, because it's a super user command, and confirm the install by typing Y for yes, then enter. When it's done, enter these commands. sudo add apps repository ppa colon philip.scott slash elementary dash tweaks. This one will add the elementary tweaks ppa to your system. Confirm you want to add it by following the instructions in the terminal. Then type sudo apt update to update your system's package list. Finally, type sudo apt install elementary-tweaks to install the package. And that's all. Second part, of course, is opening elementary tweaks. Contrary to most other applications, elementary tweaks will not appear as a separate app, but as an icon in the system settings app. Just open the system settings app and look for tweaks in the personal section. Click on its icon to see a list of categories. In each of these, you'll find some special setting to customize the way elementary OS behaves. Let's start by the Appearance tab. What can you change? Well, first is the appearance of your system. You'll find here the system theme called GTK Plus Theme. GTK is the library that Elementary uses to render its programs. Changing this theme will change the look of all applications. By default, it's set to Elementary, but when you install more themes, they'll end up here. Same with the icons. You can change what the system icons look like here. I personally installed the Elementary Plus icon theme, which adds tons more elementary style icons for other apps that the standard elementary theme doesn't cover. Changing your mouse pointer is also possible. Finally, you can tell the system to prefer the dark variant of a theme. If the GDK theme you use has a dark variant, all new app windows will always choose to use the dark theme instead of the lighter one. By default, elementary apps will use either the light theme or the dark theme depending on how they're configured. You can also play with window controls, choosing between a few layouts for the close, maximize and minimize buttons. Choose one you're familiar with or try out a new one. To conclude these appearance tweaks, you can select to display the GNOME menu in your windows on the specific GNOME apps that use it. Next is the fonts. Not much to explain here, you can customize the fonts that are used to render the interface, display documents, command lines or the font that is used in the title bar. You can change the font family, the boldness and even the size. Next is Animations. This tab will allow you to disable system animations, such as when opening or closing windows, snapping a window to the edge of the screen, minimizing or changing workspaces. If you want to keep them enabled, you can also change the duration displayed in milliseconds to speed them up or slow them down. Miscellaneous and Files. The Miscellaneous tab just handles the volume, if you want the volume indicator to be able to go beyond 100% of your system's volume. In the Files tab below, you can change the single-click behavior of the File Manager to switch to a double-click, just like on Mac OS X and Windows, if you prefer that. You can also enable the Restore Tabs option to restore the latest open tabs in your File Manager. If you leave it off, it will always open a blank File Manager window. Finally, you can change how the dates are displayed in the File Manager. Next is the Launcher. Just a few options to select how many rows and columns of apps you can see in the Applications menu and if you want to see the apps in Category mode by default. Serbier or Cerber or Cerber in French, I wouldn't really know how to pronounce it. This is basically a manager of which apps will stay open all the time. That means that when you close it, it will relaunch automatically. By default, it only enables that for the apps that are displaying the interface, such as Plank and Wing Panel, your dock and your top bar. But you can add more apps here if you wish, just using the plus button in the lower part of the window. Next is the terminal. Here you can customize some terminal options, such as the background color. 
You can also switch natural copy paste on or off, which just means that you can use the Ctrl plus C, Ctrl plus V shortcuts instead of adding the Shift key to these shortcuts. The Follow Last Tab option simply means that the latest open tab will be the default one when you reopen Terminal. The Unsafe Paste Alert option, when enabled, will tell you if a command you pasted in the terminal might cause problems on your system. If you use the command line regularly and you know what you're doing, leave this thing off, it will drive you crazy. Videos. You have a few options for the default video player here, such as living in on top when it's playing a video, sort of like a picture-in-picture -picture mode. You can also have the option to disable the move windows from Video Canvas, which does something. I couldn't figure it out. If you know, please let me know in the comments, I just couldn't figure it out. Finally, you can choose whether you want to start video playback instantly or not when you open a video file. There it is, guys. This little handy app will allow you to play a little bit more with your elementary OS desktop and tweak it to your liking. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! If you want to support the channel further, please consider sparing three small clicks. You can also follow me on Twitter at the Linux EXP. Thank you guys for the support!